Hello YouTube, I'm back. Today is Sunday the 25th. And I'm taking the plunge that I was saying. I just realized how much I hate having straight hair and having to maintain straight hair. So I just don't want this style anymore. Um, but then like also, if you watched my um, wash and go video, you know about the damage that's in the crown of my hair. So I'm just kind of like been dealing with that ever since I like went natural natural. And I've just kind of been like avoiding cutting it by doing like just twist outs and stuff. But I'm also, I think now I'm just like at the point where it's like, I mean, now I really don't have shit to lose because I don't have any hair on my head already. Cut it. I'm not really scared, actually. I don't know why I'm faking like I am. I've literally been thinking about this all day. You know what really pushed me to the edge? I just watched Simply Nessa's video. Um, she just shaved her head, like, bald. And I was like, wow, like, she had way more hair than me. So if she can do it, bitch, bitch, I can. Okay? Oh. Thanks, guys. Okay. We got this. We got this. just in case the bitch didn't want to go ball ball but I'm going ball ball let's see if this one oh okay hold on wait I might not be able to do this one I guess it's too late now oh I'm about to go buy a shit ton of these wigs honey I can't do this yeah, what's up, you wig city bitch? <laughs> I can't even look at my viewfinder right now. Like, all this time I thought my wigs didn't lay flat. And it was just the shape of my head. It's okay though. We're gonna get some curly wigs. And it's gonna be all good. Can you also make sure I got the back? You licked yourself. Where? No, I've had that bald spot since uh -huh. Tamla put a perm in my head. Uh -huh. And I've always had to cover it up. <laughs> Come show YouTube your face. <laughs> I'm so sad. Yeah, it's okay. It's gonna, don't do that. It's gonna be healthy. It's gonna be long. shave with the guard off, don't they? Yes, it's hard. It's small back soon. What's it, an inch or two? It's going to be real cute. I don't know. That's what I really can't wait for, is for it to have a little... You did it at the right time, though. You purposely did it the one way. Yeah. So, so. Wear them wigs, and nobody gonna know! Y'all ain't gonna know! Y'all 
ain't gonna know until this video is uploaded six months from now. I'm gonna close this video out. I'm gonna go shower. I'm not gonna shave it yet. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'm going to yet. I'm gonna do some more research and see if I even have to. Because if I don't, then that'll be good. But if I do, oh well, we're already here. So just get it over with. This ball spot, we'll, we'll try to work on that too since I can see it better. See what I can do about that. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. All right, bitch, I'm back. Okay, I'm tired, my wig is tired. The lighting situation is not. But I really just could not leave y'all with that little bit of footage that I left. I'm greasy, oh well y'all, just whatever. Um. I kind of felt like I had to come back and do a little bit more explaining and just things like that. So I got my notes, make sure I hit on everything. Kind of mentioned already in the video, I did it because of the damaged parts that were in, in the crown of my head. I'll insert some more clips to um, around here. I might do a cutaway of just kind of the damaged parts that I'm like referring to. Um, they, they would be straight like I would wash my hair condition my hair deep condition my hair moisturize whatever and it would still be straight um the only way I would get around that is doing twist outs and a lot of manipulation I was just kind of at the point where I was like tired of it so I kind of wanted to um just shave it bald and start over basically the reason why I did it was up in the, before I like actually did it of course I watched a shit ton of videos of other women doing it um so it kind of became like a bucket list thing, like just something like I wanted to do because it was just like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like something I've never done. So just do it hand in hand with the bucket list thing. It's like no fear. Like I I was scared to shave my hair. I was scared of what I would look like. I was scared of what people would think of me. Um, if people would still be attracted to me, whatever, whatever. But it's like. Who cares? Like, at the end of the goddamn day, who cares? So, did I like my haircut before? I did. I did like my haircut. Um, but like I also mentioned, I just remember the struggle of, like, having straight hair. Like, of having to avoid sweating. Just normal shit. Like, getting my hair wet, sweating, washing my hairline. Like, you know, I wear makeup. Like, I have to wash all the way up into my hairline. So I would, I would have to like retouch up my hairline every morning because I, you know, got it wet from washing my face the night before. Like I just didn't have time for maintaining straight hair. And I already saw what it looked like curly, like in my natural state, I didn't like it. And plus the, in its natural straight state was the, that was the damaged part. So I was just like, I'm ready for this to go. So the ball spot in my head, I've had that forever. Like I said, I really, I'm really not 100% sure what caused it or like why it's there, um, but I've had it since childhood. So I would my only hypothesis is that I've had it, um, or the reason that I, it's there is because of a childhood perm that I think kind of went wrong or went bad. So that's the only like theory I have basically. <laughs> that's also why I'm wearing wigs so I don't want anyone to think like oh I regret it or anything because I 100% do not like at all I all I like now when my hair shaved I always rewatch like watch other women's videos of like them shaving their hair and I just like smile because like I relate to everything they're saying about it feeling like liberating and like just like everything they say oh um and I'm also working on trying to regrow the bald spot that's going to be a separate video that journey of me regrowing some of my thin patches um, in my hair because I'm using a special product that's hot on the market and I want to kind of do a review on so I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. Um, who inspired me? Hella people. Hella people inspired me to cut my hair. Um, number one, Nye McFly. I'll link all these people down below too. Um, Nye McFly. She's cut her hair maybe little, maybe it was actually was the beginning of this year and she didn't shave her hair but she just cut it and she had way more hair than me so when I was like when I first saw her video I was like damn like if she can cut her hair I can and I was already at the time contemplating cutting my hair but of course I was still scared 
Um, but when I saw her, I was like, damn, like, if she can cut her hair, I can motherfucking cut my hair. Cause Jayla Majet, I'll link her video down below too. I watched her Big Chop video. She talked about having heat damage down to the root of her hair. So that she kind of was the first person to inspire me, inspire me to shave my head. Cause at first I was just gonna cut it and kind of rock a curly to the view way like Nye McFly. But then I was like, damn, but then my hair is gonna continue to grow straight, you know? So I was like, now nah, I gotta shave it. Like I have to shave my hair. So that's what Jayla kind of inspired me to shave it. Um, and then in, my, in the video, I talk about Simply Nessa, <sighs> child. Like Simply Nessa was, her video was the straw that broke the camel's back. I was like, fuck this. Like I'm about to go get the clippers right now. Like I shaved my head at like 10 30 at night. And her video was like, really what was like, oh yeah, like it's time. Like it's time. Why did I cry? <laughs> so <laughs> I was going to leave that part of the video out, but a big part of my channel is definitely like expressing vulnerability and just kind of letting people know like you're not alone out here. You're not alone in these streets, period. Okay. So I kind of wanted, like I said, I was going to leave it out because one, I was ugly as fuck. <laughs> And two, just because, like, it was me being very, very vulnerable. Like, um, it was just emotional. Like, I've had hair on my head. I mean, I've cut my hair before, but I've always had hair on my head, you know, forever, forever. Especially in high school. Like, I was always known as the girl with long hair. Like, my hair used to really be, like, real life this long. Maybe not all 20 inches, but maybe, like, you know, 16, like, in high school. So just like I don't know it was just emotional period like just how I watched so many other women cut their hair and it inspired me I want my video to do the same thing so I wanted to leave all aspects in the video um that's really like I said I want to make this quick because I'm tired I want to take this week off okay it might be Simone voice I'm ready to go to sleep baby girl <laughs> okay y'all anyways um yeah.